Step into the dimly lit alleyways of cinematic history, where the neon glow of 1970s New York City casts its enigmatic spell. A world of gritty streets and tangled souls awaits, and at its heart stands a solitary figure, both mesmerizing and unsettling. If your memory can traverse back to that one unforgettable encounter with the 1976 masterpiece, Taxi Driver, y'all know the feeling of being pulled into a realm where reality blurs into dreams and shadows whisper secrets. Remember that first time. The flicker of anticipation as the opening scene unfolded, the rain-soaked streets mirroring the protagonist's internal turmoil. Each moment etched itself in your mind, the haunting echo of Travis Bickle's words, the city's heartbeat pulsating through the taxi's engine, and the crescendo of Bernard Herrmann's score synchronizing with your heartbeat. Was it the unforgettable you talking to me? Mirror scene that seared itself into your consciousness. Travis, alone in his world of reflections, a dance of vulnerability and menace swirling in his eyes. Or perhaps it was the enigmatic allure of Iris, a young Jodie Foster breathing life into a character that captured innocence trapped in a cruel urban underbelly. Now, as we venture beyond those indelible moments, let's shine a light on the lesser known facets of this cinematic gem. Delve into the untold tales that unfolded behind the scenes, stories of improvisations that birthed iconic lines, the meticulous set design that recreated a city's essence, and the audacious risks taken by a young director named Martin Scorsese. So, fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the labyrinthine alleys of Taxi Driver, where trivia becomes treasure and insight, illumination. For in this exploration, we unravel the strands that wove the celluloid tapestry into the masterpiece that continues to echo through time. And with that, let's lift the veil on the hidden narratives, guided by the echoes of the past and the cinematic whispers that still linger in the air. Unearth the random facts that will deepen your connection to this timeless classic and reshape the lens through which you view it. As we embark on this journey of discovery, remember that every detail holds a story, and every story contributes to the tapestry of Taxi Driver. Welcome to the underbelly of New York's streets, where the taxi's meter counts down the minutes to destiny. Hit ready to experience Taxi Driver as you never have before, through the lens of its untold tales. Taxi Driver, a 1976 film directed by Martin Scorsese, delves into the gritty underbelly of New York City through the eyes of Travis Bickle, a mentally unstable Vietnam War veteran played by Robert De Niro. The movie's origins lie in Paul Schrader's screenplay, which artfully captures Bickle's isolation, disillusionment, and growing obsession with rescuing a young prostitute, Iris, portrayed by Jodie Foster. The film's unique style intertwines gritty realism with surreal sequences, reflecting Bickle's fractured psyche. As Bickle navigates the city streets as a taxi driver, the story unravels his descent into violence, culminating in a violent showdown. Taxi driver's iconic characters, such as the enigmatic Betsy and the sage-like wizard, contribute to the film's complex exploration of urban loneliness and alienation. The film's stark portrayal of urban decay and its haunting musical score further enhance its impact. Its powerful themes of alienation, moral ambiguity, and vigilantism resonated with audiences, spurring discussions about society's darker facets. This cinematic masterpiece's influence on popular culture is undeniable. De Niro's portrayal of Bickle has become a cultural touchstone, inspiring parodies, references, and discussions on mental health in film. The movie's famous line, you talkin' to me, has transcended the screen to become a lasting catchphrase. Taxi Driver remains an enduring work, challenging viewers to confront the shadows within themselves and society, all while showcasing Scorsese's visionary storytelling. Travis Bickle's reflections, De Niro's improvised mentorship in the gritty underworld of 1970s New York, Martin Scorsese's iconic film Taxi Driver emerged as a cinematic touchstone, weaving a tale of loneliness, psychosis, and societal decay. Beneath its surface, a tapestry of subtle homages and improvised brilliance illuminates the film's enduring legacy. One such moment arrives as Travis Bickle dissolves a tablet into water in allusion to Jean Luke Goddard's two or three things I know about her. Likewise, the overhead shot, capturing Travis in his taxi's rear view mirror, nods to Nicholas Ray's in a lonely place. These cinematic echoes underscore Scorsese's homage to his influences. Yet, it's the behind-the-scenes mentorship that adds another layer. At the 31st AFI Life Achievement Awards, Jodie Foster unveiled how Robert De Niro ignited her passion. 
the two would meet at a diner, rehearsing scenes over coffee. What began as routine evolved when De Niro unleashed his improvisational prowess, navigating between scripted lines and inventive riffs. Foster's metamorphosis mirrored the character-building process, transcending the written word. Among the film's raw authenticity lies the mirror monologue De Niro's unscripted genius. Drawing inspiration from Marlon Brando's mirrored musings and reflections in a golden eye, De Niro crafted a haunting dialogue with himself, echoing Travis' internal turmoil. Taxi driver pulsates with Travis Bickle's unraveling psyche, fueled by De Niro's mentorship and improvisation. It's a film that not only peers into urban decay but also captures the essence of collaboration, and creative evolution. Taxi Driver, a journey of influence, mentorship, and unscripted brilliance. Taxi Driver, when art transcends paychecks in the gritty world of 1970s cinema, Taxi Driver emerged as a beacon of artistic integrity, with a cast and crew willing to sacrifice hefty paychecks for the sake of the film's raw authenticity. Riding on the success of The Godfather Part II, Robert De Niro, the rising star of the era, astonishingly accepted a meager $35,000, a fraction of his usual fee, to portray the tormented Travis Bickle. Notably, he turned down offers exceeding half a million dollars from other productions. The financial frugality didn't stop there. Paul Schrader, the mastermind behind the screenplay, inked a similar deal, trading monetary gain for creative fulfillment. Despite having sold his script for the Yakuza for a far more substantial sum, Schrader's commitment to Taxi Driver led him to accept a meager fee. Even the luminous Seibel Shepard joined the ranks of the underpaid, receiving a mere $35,000 for her role. Pooling their collective dedication, the main cast and director Martin Scorsese, who himself earned $65,000, crafted a film that transcended financial constraints. The total budget hovered around a modest $1.8 million, with less than $200,000 allocated for talent salaries. One pivotal contributor, however, stood out for his unforgettable contribution, composer Bernard Herrmann. When Scorsese, then a burgeoning director, approached Herrmann for the score, he initially declined, asserting, I don't write music for car movies. Only after delving into the script did Herrmann change his tune. His dissonant brass-infused composition ingeniously mirrored Travis Bickle's inner turmoil. Intriguingly, after creating an evocative musical tapestry that enriched the film, Herrmann was called upon once more. Scorsese insisted on a final auditory jolt, a solitary chilling chord. Summoning a studio orchestra, Herrmann meticulously crafted this eerie sonic punctuation. Tragically, this effort became Herrmann's swan song, as he passed away shortly after, at 64, concluding a career that had begun with the iconic Citizen Kane. Taxi Driver even etched its mark on the musical realm. A seemingly minor street scene, where De Niro and Shepard stroll by a street drummer, yielded a line that later reverberated through time. The drummer's now back to Gene Krupa syncopated style found new life when British band Apollo 440 sampled it for their track Krupa on the 1997 album Electro Blide in Blue. In the annals of cinematic history, Taxi Driver remains more than a film. It's a testament to the power of passion, where individuals forewent bloated paychecks to coalesce their creative energies and weave a masterpiece that endures as a gritty, authentic slice of 1970s New York. In the ever-evolving tapestry of cinema, sometimes, it's the stories behind the scenes that prove most compelling. Shifting characters' identities, a nuanced view behind Taxi Driver in the annals of cinema, 1,976 seconds Taxi Driver stands as an enduring masterpiece, an unflinching portrait of urban alienation and decay. Yet, beneath its gritty surface lies a fascinating behind-the-scenes decision that altered the racial makeup of key characters, adding an unexpected layer of complexity to the narrative. Paul Schrader, the screenwriter behind The Visceral Tale, initially conceived Sport, the Mafioso, and the hotel clerk as black characters, intertwining race relations with the film's already intense themes. However, Martin Scorsese, the director, recognized the potential pitfalls of such a narrative choice. He believed that the combination of these characters' racial identities with other story elements might inadvertently skew the film towards a racially charged discourse. With a deft directorial stroke, Scorsese proposed a transformation. These characters would be recast as white men, easing the potential tensions. Schrader, while initially resistant, yielded to Scorsese's perspective. 
This decision, though driven by a desire to navigate complex subjects carefully, ultimately presented an intriguing paradox. By shuffling character identities, the film preserved a delicate equilibrium, focusing the narrative on individual alienation while avoiding an undue emphasis on racial dynamics. This nuanced decision highlights the collaborative nature of filmmaking, where creative minds converge to balance artistic expression and societal sensitivities. Taxi Driver thrived as a result of these choices, transcending its original vision to become an indelible cultural touchstone. The film's exploration of isolation, urban decay, and the human psyche resonated deeply with audiences, solidifying its place in cinematic history. Even in its altered state, the movie's impact endures, a testament to the power of collaborative decision-making and shaping a cinematic tour de force. As the neon-lit streets of Taxi Driver fade into memory, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of cinema and introspection. Just like Travis Bickle cruising through the rain-soaked boulevards of 1970s New York, this cinematic masterpiece has navigated its way into the very essence of our collective consciousness. The raw intensity of Robert De Niro's portrayal of Travis, a man teetering on the edge of societal disconnection, resonates with the facets of our own lives we sometimes keep hidden in the shadows. We are reminded that amidst the towering skyscrapers and bustling sidewalks, a human soul can become its own sprawling metropolis of emotions, desires, and internal struggles. Taxi Driver is not merely a film, it's an experiential journey that leaves an indelible mark on our minds and hearts. Scorsese's masterful direction, Schrader's poignant script, and the unforgettable performances all converge to etch a cinematic experience that lingers long after the credits roll. Perhaps you recall the raindrops tracing their paths down the taxi's windows, mirroring the tears that trickle down the face of the protagonist. Or maybe it's the haunting score that reverberates in your mind, a soundtrack to your own contemplative moments. However this film has intertwined itself with your thoughts, it's an intimate connection worth celebrating. So, I invite you to take a moment. Close your eyes and let the echoes of Taxi Driver traverse the avenues of your memories. What emotions does it stir? What thoughts does it provoke? Share your reflections, your anecdotes, and your personal revelations. Let's weave a tapestry of perspectives that honors the impact of this cinematic gem on each of us. Thank you for indulging in this nostalgic journey and for allowing Taxi Driver to reside not only on the screen but within your own narrative. Your thoughts are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Until we meet again, keep the echoes of Travis Bickle alive in your reflections. Reflect, remember, and relive.